Hey, what's going on? This is Matt and welcome to another video. Today we're going to discuss exactly how to raise your levels of the body's powerhouse detoxifier, glutathione. Glutathione is the body's master antioxidant and it's powerful enough to detox dangerous free radicals, toxic drugs, and heavy metals. Glutathione, or GSH, is endogenous, which means that the body naturally produces its own from available raw materials. Low glutathione levels contribute to oxidative stress, which plays a key role in numerous health conditions, such as heart attack, stroke, diabetes, cancer, and Parkinson's disease. However, studies have found that supplemental glutathione usually has poor bioavailability. This is because it's easily broken down during the digestion process and does not enter the bloodstream as glutathione for the most part. But we can give our bodies the right building blocks so we can make our own naturally. The human body manufactures its own GSH with three amino acids, L-cysteine, glutamic acid, and glycine. Of these three, glutamic acid is a non-essential amino acid and is usually provided in large amounts by high protein foods such as eggs, fish, meat, beans, and seeds. That leaves us L-cysteine and glycine, both of which have been proven to be rate-limiting nutrients for glutathione production in your body, which basically means that your body is dependent on getting enough of those nutrients so they can manufacture enough glutathione. L-cysteine, like glutamic acid, is naturally present in high-protein foods, and the body can also synthesize its own from available raw materials. However, cysteine is classified as a semi-essential amino acid, which means that some people may need supplementation due to not getting enough naturally. This is where N-acetylcysteine, or NAC, comes in. NAC has been well established in restoring glutathione levels, and it's even been shown to penetrate the blood-brain barrier and raise brain GSH levels in animal models. N-acetylcysteine has also been proven to be efficient at treating the neurocognitive issues, addiction, compulsive behaviors, bipolar disorder, and schizophrenia. In addition, it also helps to regulate levels of glutamate, which is one of your brain's most important neurotransmitters. NAC, in my opinion, is an amazing supplement because it's been used since 1968 in emergency room medicine to save people's lives from acetaminophen or Tylenol overdose. It does this by maintaining and replenishing the glutathione levels that are being used up by the toxic acetaminophen metabolite, NAPQI. And that brings us to glycine. Glycine is an amino acid that's also present naturally in high protein foods. And research has indicated that modern diets may not be high enough in glycine to support optimal glutathione levels. When glutathione is synthesized, first the cysteine and glutamic acid join to form gamma glutamylcysteine. The second step is when glycine is linked to the molecule through glutathione synthase. Some heavy hitting research has actually shown that if we don't get enough glycine in our diet, basically what happens is our gamma glutamylcysteine converts to something called 5-LO, which is then excreted in the urine. So if you're not getting enough glycine in the diet, chances are your glutathione levels are not at the optimum level. Supplementing with glycine is something that I'd highly recommend because not only does it contribute to optimal glutathione levels, but it also has numerous health benefits in and of itself. I use this inexpensive powdered glycine supplement just to throw in protein shakes or whatever. And with that, we've pretty much concluded how to naturally raise your glutathione levels. If you enjoyed the video today, feel free to hit that like button below. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch today and look forward to seeing you next time.